I mean, of course, it was it was not the most pleasant time of my life because. Uh, somewhere you know when you're when you're really you know you're, you're, you've gone to college if you're in school you're going to college and immediately you're at Miss India Miss World and you're pre prepping for a movie and then suddenly there's like a there's like a slight pause yeah but I think the wait is the tough part you know when whether when the film is released at least you're moving ahead in life at least you know okay these are the things that I have to improve upon these are my strengths these are my weaknesses at least you have a result hi I'm Anushi Chiller and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama <laughs>
uh, very rarely people get to learn so many things for one project and you got to do that everything here. So tell me what was it like learning those things? I remember this thing when finally, you know, I, I had my first reading of the, like my first narration and the minute Dr. Saab narrated the script to me, Adi sir was like, you know, from now on, he said, this is boot camp. <laughs> he said, you're, you're new, we see potential in you, we feel you can do a good job and we, we think you can portray the character well. But this is boot camp. He said, every day you'll have classes from morning to evening and I'm glad that happened because um, I know as a person, I feel more confident on screen because I feel prepared. And uh, the prep was mostly around acting, you know, understanding acting because I've never acted mm. before. Um, it was also a lot about um, understanding the character, understanding the time, uh, understanding Dr. Saab's vision. You know, film is a director's medium. It's about him. It's about how he has visualized the story. And most importantly, I mean, I was I was a classical dancer when I was a, I was a younger. I was in school, but I learned a little bit of semi-classical, Kathak, and you know, I was out of practice because of studies. So I had not danced for so long. So it was eight months of lots of dancing. Horse riding is something. I mean, I ne I never. Uh, I mean, if you, even if you look at the promo, I'm sitting behind Akshay, mm -hmm. sir. So I never had to do any kind of horse riding on my own. But I learned horse riding as a, as a child. My, my father used to take me every Sunday to a horse riding club. Uh, he felt it was, it was a good skill to learn. But uh, archery, I think I, I, I learned more, I practiced more of the postures because I needed it for a sequence in a song. It was more about the postures and understanding how to like confidently, because this girl, uh, you know, Princess Sayogita knows knows archery. Mm -hmm. So if she's picking up a bow, she's going to be confident about it. She's not going to pick up like us amateurs who've never done archery before. So it was more about practicing that, not like actually being able to, you know, do it. I wish I could, but uh, a lot a lot of things. And then I think the most that I learned was on set. Um, it was it was understanding, you know, there, there's a lot of, there are a lot of things that happen, you know, there's lighting, there are cameras, there are different kinds of cameras. I never knew that. I mean, I, I never knew that every diff, every camera, you know, there's certain things you need to change depending on the shot that's being taken. And it's, it's film acting is also, there, there are a lot of technicalities involved. So yeah, all of that. As a newcomer uh, who gets to debut in a grand Yashraj film, yeah. secondly, it has someone as big as Akshay Kumar and a stalwart like Dr. Devedi. Did it ever get overwhelming or was it like absolutely a day of learning, next day of learning and everything? I wouldn't say, it, I don't think it ever got overwhelming per se, but yes, you know, when you're working with a production house such as Yashraj, um, and then you're working with an actor, you know, a superstar who's probably the biggest superstar right now, Akshay sir, and a director like Dr. Saab, they're all very strong pillars. And you don't want to be that one weak pillar of the film because it's your first film, and you're not as experienced as they are. But I like challenges in life. I've always loved a challenge. And I think I I still remember the first time I ever competed at a big competition was at Miss India. And I went on stage and, you know, I, I still remember that in my head it was not about, oh, I have to win. It was more like a challenge that this is something new. This is something I've never done. And I, I enjoy that process a lot more. Um, having their kind of experience, having their wisdom really has helped me because I got, you get to learn a lot, you know, whatever Akshay sir might say, but to observe him on set, to observe him work, you get to know that why he is who he is. Uh, same thing with Dr. Saab and the way also Yashraj works. Um, for me, I couldn't have asked for a better launch because somewhere I knew that, you know, they, them being so experienced, uh, they were also very, Nakshi sir, I, I think I'm the 22nd newcomer that he's, he's, he's worked, worked with. <laughs> he told me that I've worked with the most number of like yeah. newcomers in the industry. Uh, so I think he kind of understood the kind of challenges and, the, and how nervous I must be. I, I mean, of course, there, there's some level of, mm. uh, you know, there, there is, you are nervous because it's the first time you're, you're shooting for a film. So he understood my challenges and somewhere, you know, he also had a role to play in making sure that uh, I'm not getting too overwhelmed or I'm not too confused and I'm able to understand everything. So that all, you know, all those things really helped. 
now that you've mentioned Miss India and that was the first yeah. time you you are at a public event, right? Yeah. Versus now as a as an actress who's ready to debut, but she's promoting her movie. Yeah. It's a completely different stage altogether. Very different, very different kind of yeah. audience. How how has been that journey for you versus also first day on set versus the last day on set? I think I have grown like um, Miss India, Miss World. Uh, you know, pageantry is very different from mm -hmm. acting. Mm -hmm. Pageantry is more about you presenting the best version of yourself. Acting is more about you searching for that character within you and trying to bring it to the audience. Two very different things. Um, today, like when I'm doing this, I, and from the very, and if I look at myself, the first day when I started shooting for the film, I was a very, I, my experience was, I was inexperienced. I had, I had no experience. Um, at that time, you know, now that I look at, I, even when I watch the film, I've realized that I have really learned and I have grown. I can see that. I can, I can feel that I'm, I'm more confident. I, I know my subject better. I feel like today, if I was again giving a, given the script of Prithvi Raj, maybe you, you always feel that, that you could do a better job or, you know, you could have done this differently. I think that they'll always be there. But today, I, I might be able to attempt it differently because I've had experience. And like any other skill, um, acting is also something which you learn with practice. You know, no one is born, I don't, I don't believe that anyone's born an actor. It's something, you know, some people, maybe they're, they find it a little easier than others. But you only get better with practice. And I feel what I've had through that journey of shooting for the film is practice. Interestingly, there are so many newcomers. Right now, there's a there's a way that everyone has a platform to work at, like yeah. uh, there are multiple mediums all together. Yeah. Uh, in that rarity, post pandemic, a big screen release is something mm -hmm. that can that can be so overwhelming, also yeah. so exciting because it's so rare now to see that one big release also these mm -hmm. days. But now it's coming on yeah. in theater. So what? What are the are there jitters or there's like what? Are you someone who's gonna go like silently and watch somewhere? <laughs> this guy is I don't know. I mean, <laughs> see, the thing is that I've, I've had some kind of public uh, exposure even before the film. So I am somewhere used to criticism. That doesn't, that doesn't bother mm -hmm. me. I would, I would actually love to go to a theater, you know, and, and watch the film with people so that I come to know. You know, ultimately, uh, theaters are, it's about family entertainment, mass entertainment, you know. So how the masses actually react to you on screen is going to help me, uh, you know, as long as I don't let it affect me, as long as I know that, okay, you know, this is, this is what didn't work, this worked. So let's, let's like try to, try to like improve upon the things that, that should be done. Um, but having said that, today there are a lot of new actors and it's good that there is more work that's happening, not only for actors, but you know, for technicians, for people who work behind the scenes, there's a lot more work. And a film like Prithvi Raj, of course, there, there was always the temptation during, during you know, lockdown that should I, should I, should I have done an OTT uh, film or should I have, uh, you know, I was, I was, you know, should I, should I be waiting for theaters to open again? But a film like Prithvi Raj is, is an experience that you have to get on the big screen, you know, that, that, the kind, the sound, it's, that, that whole, that whole feeling of sitting in a theater is very different. And I'm glad I waited, you know, theaters are back and I feel like, Today, luckily, that it's not an, I don't think OTT is an alternative. It's an option, you know, they're both options now and they're both parallel industries, which uh, I feel that there, there are different kind of films that will work in theaters and different kind of films that will work on OTT platforms. Right. Uh, I, I'm someone who's loved films since the childhood because yeah. generations have been into films altogether. Music has yeah. been a part of it. Was there something in your family as well? Or was there I, a seed ever you felt <laughs> like, oh, maybe I can pursue it later? Was there ever a point like that? Actually, no. My family has been very academic. We've, uh, you know, everyone, we've always been told since childhood to focus on our studies. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, my mom always, like my parents, actually both my parents, they always encouraged us to do other things as well. They always told us, you know, if you only study in your life, you know, when you're older, you'll realize that there's so many other skills that you could have learned that actually help you in life. And I remember I used to, I used to participate a lot in school. So they always thought that 
I would end up, you know, going into the entertainment industry or into, you know, my, my mother always thought I would become, maybe become an artist because I used to paint a lot in school. But when I told them that I'm, I'm planning to become a doctor, there were, there were mixed reactions from them. And uh, we've always enjoyed watching movies, not as much as a normal Indian family does, if I may say so. I've, we've al I've always enjoyed reading books more. Uh, my sister's the one who watches a lot of movies. My father loves watching, uh, you know, these movies on martial arts and, uh, you know, so he'd, he'd always, he'd always uh, come home and he'd have like uh, films with a lot of, uh, a lot of fighting and some new <laughs> form of martial arts. So he enjoys those kind of movies. Uh, if you talk about Bollywood movies per se, the person who's enjoyed watching them the most is my maternal grandmother. She would, uh, in fact, you know, she tells me that when she was younger, she would watch these movies and she would get those exact same clothes stitched for herself <laughs> that the actress was wearing. <laughs> right. Uh, and I did have, uh, didn't kuch kuch hota, I had, I had bought that dangri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it sort of comes off. I think after a, it's something I mean, yeah, gets popular. I mean, yeah, 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 so I can. We all, we all like. I think we all, we all learn and we all like to, you know, kind of. <laughs> right, right. Moving forward, that, yeah. are there some projects that you are looking forward to, or the kind of roles that you would like to do more? Um, to be honest, after playing Princess Sayogita in a Prithvi Raj, um, and then of course doing the second film, which is completely different and playing a completely different character. I've realized that I enjoy trying something new. And going forward, I hope I get to try something new because that's how I learn and that's how I'll grow, you know, as an actor. And I think that, that that's the only wish that I have, that the, whatever projects I get to do in the future are different, are something new, so that I always, always get to learn. Thank you so much. Best wishes for the film. Thank you. Looking forward to it. And I'm sure it must be a little nervousness or something like that. But congratulations. It looks grand. Thank you. So looking forward to it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Lovely talking to you today. Likewise. Hi, I'm Manishi Chiller and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama.